this video we're going to draw the outline of a turbofan cowling. Um, so I have here my A3 paper and from the slides there's a step-by-step -step procedure that describes how to uh, lay out uh, a turbofan uh, cowling. Uh, and there's a lot of computations that are involved in that step-by-step -step procedure and for this example I already have a uh, filled out data sheet where all the computations have been be performed beforehand and uh, the whole data sheet has been filled out with uh, uh, with numbers so we're gonna only focus in this instruction video on the drawing part of that calendar. All right the first thing we need to determine is the scale. Um, I have uh, an A3 paper here um, if I look at the length of the uh, turbofan uh, engine, the whole uh, cowling length is uh, 7 meters and 10 centimeters in my calculations. So uh, I'm deciding to use a scale uh, 1 to 25 to draw this engine such that you get a nice uh, large engine on this, uh, on this sheet of paper. Now we're going to draw both uh, the top view of the engine or side view as it is axisymmetric as well as part of the, of the front view. So I'm writing down the scale for future reference 1 to 25. And the first thing I'm going to do is again draw the, um, uh, the reference uh, center line of the engine. Um, and I'm looking at my, my data sheet here. I'm seeing that the uh, diameter of the engine, the uh, maximum diameter is 2.63 meters. So 2.63 divided by 0.25 divided by 2 is about 5.26 centimeters, which is going to be the radius on the, on the drawing. So I'm making sure that I'm at least, let's say, 7 centimeters off of the top to draw my, my center line to give me some nice um, space. So 7 centimeters there, and I said 7 meter 10. Uh, is the length 7.1 divided by 0.25 is 28 centimeters. Well, my protractor is about 22. So 22 plus 6 gives me approximately starting point over here. I'm going to add another centimeter. So I'm going to start roughly over there. So first draw my... Um, symmetry line here as a dash dotted line and it's going to be the line that I'm, I'm going to use throughout the rest of the drawing right so um, I just said the diameter is going to be approximately um, five uh, centimeters maybe a little bit more on this on this sheet so if I want to draw here a complete circle I might not be able to fully do that Give me some space here. I'm just going to make part of a circle and I'm putting the center line over here. And that's okay because it's axisymmetric anyway. So if I draw even half of the, in, uh, the, of the front view, you can already understand um, what it looks like in full. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm drawing, drawing the, uh, the highlight face of the uh, turbofan. Um, I'm assuming here that the highlight and the, in the inlet have the same diameter, so that the inlet uh, diameter is 2.36 meters. That has been computed, uh, and I'm assuming the highlight diameter is exactly the same. The highlight diameter indicated um, on the sheet here. So 2.36 divided by 0.25. 9.44 is the diameter in terms of centimeters divided by 2 gives me a radius of 4.7 centimeters so this is my inlet face next thing maybe is to to draw the end of that engine so it was 7 meters 7.10 meters i think i did the calculation already but let's do it again 28.4 centimeters gives me a point over there. I'm going to later on extend that, but for now I know this is where my engine is going to be. All right. Um, next point is to find the thickest part on the, um, on the cowling. 
which is the uh, coefficient beta multiplied by the length of the uh, of the fan. Well, beta is 0.45. That's a decision that you make. That's a, a chosen value, and the length of the um, of the fan cowling is 3.91 centimeters. So if I multiply that 0.45 times 3.91 equals 1.76 uh, meters from the inlet face, I find the, the largest diameter in there. So divide by 0.25 is se exactly 7 centimeters from the inlet face. Um, and then the maximum diameter we, we said we computed is 2.63 meters, which gives me a radius on the um, drawing of 5.3. And I'm just drawing a little straight line there because I know that is roughly what the shape's going to look like over there. All right, so I got my thickest point and got my inlet. Next thing uh, that I want to do is draw the rear part of the fan cowling. So the exit of the fan, two meters, 36 centimeters in, um, in real dimensions divided by 0.25. Gives me a 4.7 centimeter uh, radius. Okay, hold on. I first need to plot where the length of the uh, fan, where the fan cowling actually ends, and that's so I'm keeping in mind the 4.7 uh, centimeters. And now I'm looking at the length of the fan cowling, which is 3.91 divided by 20, So after 15.6 centimeters, my fan cowling ends. I had a, a radius of 4.7 centimeters. Right, so I now have the exit of the fan cowling, the inlet of the fan cowling, and the two outer points. And now it's uh, sort of a connect the dots. So now we have the fan cowling done. Um, and now we want to draw the cowling around the the uh, uh, the gas generator um, so the first thing that we do is we look at the uh, uh, the gas generator uh, diameter at the beginning which it says here is 1.64 meters 1.64 gives me a radius on this drawing of 3.3 centimeters uh, so that's the starting point and now just need to compute the end of the gas generator uh, it says DEG is 0 0.9 meters so 0 0.9 meters is 3.6 uh, centimeters is the diameter which means a radius of 1.8 centimeters on the drawing. I can actually draw a vertical line between those two because that's actually the end of the gas generator cowling. And now I'm simply connecting the dots with a straight line and I have my gas generator cowling ready. Um, note that we are not drawing the plug which is usually present at the rear end of the, uh, of the gas generator. Um, we're keeping that uh, open for now. Uh, so this finalizes the uh, the cowling design of the uh, turbofan in terms of the, the side view or the top view if you will. Um, what we're now doing is we're focusing on uh, on the front view and we're drawing in the, the front view. Uh, for that first thing that we're doing is we're drawing the, um, the, the, the outermost diameter. So I get my geometric compass here. And I can either look at look at the uh, data sheet or I just look at the, the line that I did before. Make sure I got the same diameter from the side view. Draw that in. All right, so that's the outermost diameter. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is draw in the, the inlet uh, diameter. We're going to start here. And the final thing I want to do is draw in the spinner. And I computed the spinner with the spinner to inlet ratio, which is 0.18, which we computed before. And with that, I can compute that the um, uh, spinner diameter is 42 centimeters. And that means I need a spinner radius here of about 8 millimeters on the drawing. Uh, with your pencil, you might want to make those lines a little bit thicker. Um, but if you've done that, that basically finalizes the, uh, the two view of this uh, axisymmetric uh, turbofan cowling.